Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Drew Droids. So in this channel, we discuss about robotics in general, drones and also simulation. In today's video, I will discuss and show you the methods we use to create or model and simulate an excavator track chain. An excavator track chain is somewhat similar to a tank, tank thread or the tank crawler but has certain differences so in this part of the video this is part one i will be showing you the the process uh, in order to create the model create joints and how do i import my geometries so that later on in the part two i can use this same for using the python script and completing the model we begin by importing the geometries into the Adams view environment. So we will import parasolid files. We will start with the roller geometries. So the roller geometry is uh, it will include the sprocket, the idler, the supporting rollers. So four of these components. So here you can see the sprocket. along with the sprocket you can see the bigger roller on the right side which we call the idler and the smaller rollers in between the two bigger components usually our track chain will have more of this but i have simplified it is also supported on the top side uh, here i can show you the cad model i prepared this in NX Uni Graphics. So now I am importing the, I will be exporting the track links, the track links so that I can import them into the Adams environment. So it's important that uh, this process be followed actually, uh, since I will be using a Python script later on. So there has to be a sequence. So I have imported the track links at once. So this uh, results in the naming, in the continuous naming of the track links. So here it starts with maybe part six. The first track link is named as part six, and it ends with part forty-one. So that way I have around uh, I think thirty-seven, thirty-six links, thirty-six links. So that is important for the script to work. And then uh, we will have to prepare the ground or the plane, ground plane on which the track chain will be moving. So I am doing this uh, using the solid preparation within Adams itself, using the solid block that I can make within Adams. This is preferred as uh, the contact solution is much easier it seems uh, with native bodies or bodies which are belong to Adams itself. So wherever possible we should opt to use geometries that have been created within atoms so i'm creating the block i'm positioning it and i'm making it as large as possible so that uh, later on when i am traveling the track chain i have sufficient space and also uh, that small gap and there should be a small gap between the track chain and the ground initially at zero time so here i'm adjusting the gap just to be around one millimeter so that uh, say for the first one second the sol solver will solve it and if the gap is too big there are very large forces and the solver finds it difficult to convert so it is preferred to keep a very small gap and maybe 0.5 to 1 mm so the ground plate is prepared now I'm also making some adjustments to the plane for future so that I can expand the work for some other jobs so next we will create points to locate the revolute joints the revolute joints which will connect each uh, consecutive track links so this is part of the manual task which I haven't performed any scripting right now so I will create this point on the ground ground part one by one 
can see I'm using the point option to create points so this points I'm creating them uh, on the uh, small circular shapes that I had retained during the CAD modeling this is important as it is uh, as Adams recognizes circular circular arcs and it helps us to locate the center so this is an important step even during the CAD as well as during our simulation Our points are created now but uh, if you see it in the screen our points are not located in the center line of the tracks so they are offset from the center line uh, this is the issue when we are using the the automatic center detection so it may be created anywhere along the z-axis now we will use the table editor to simply modify the z-axis of all the points and in our case the center point center axis is at zero z-axis so I will simply change all the values to 0 which will bring my points to the center axis of the track chain. This is an easy step using table editor. So all the points have been modified, bringing them to the center of the track chain. Once we are done with the point creation, now we can easily create our joints using those points that we have created on the ground. So we will create revolute joints between the successive track links at the point that we have just created. We will use revolute joints which basically acts like the pin joint between each of these track links. We will create these joints manually. So this is something which I have, I will be working on in my future, in the future to automate the creation of these joints because now I have to create 35 joints for the entire track chain. So once I can automate this, things becomes much easier. So this is I will this is something which I will work on later. But for now I'm just going the manual way. I have just run a simulation with all the revolute joints created between each link and you can see the results the next step uh, will be to create the contacts between the track link and the ground plane the track link and the sprocket track link and the rollers and various such contacts this can be done manually but the problem here is since we have 36 track links so the number of contacts will just grow exponentially with additional objects so 36 with the ground 36 with the sprocket 36 with the idler so approximately there will be around 250 contact pairs so which is a tedious task yet i will show you the manual contact creation just to get an idea of the difference so i am creating the contact between the track link the highlighted track link with the ground ground box ground name is box 77 and our track link is solid 5 i'm using the default contact parameters so similarly i will just create a uh, few more contacts with the subsequent track link and the ground just to give you an idea of the the time that is involved in doing so so you can imagine how much time it will take for you to create contacts for every link with the ground and then you get the same 36 link with the sprocket and so on i will do i'm doing this manually right now 
but my ultimate aim is to implement the Atom script or so the Python script uh, which will actually create all the all the approximately 300 contacts within a matter of seconds so you can see I just ran a simulation with some two to three links having contact with the ground the rest of the links are falling freely under gravity and I've also put a fix fix constraint on the top part of the chain just to not let the entire track chain fall to the ground so uh, today's video I end it here uh, do watch the second part of this video in which I will complete the entire simulation of the track chain uh, by implementing the script Python script to create contacts That was all for today. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon for more interesting videos. So, Droop Droids signing off. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.